There's Tony. And there's Doug. They had a couple extra minutes to think about it. They had a couple extra minutes to potentially make some last second adjustments. This top fuel field was brutal. Tony Schumacher on the left side. The Maynard family qualified in the number 12 spot. Now he ran 378. I mean, that, that, that ain't exactly like tiptoeing down the boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Doug Galetta qualified the number five spot at 3.72 seconds. This top fuel field is jammed from top to bottom. I expect it to be like that all year long. For Mac Tools, Revkin, Fifth Third Bank, Team Coletta, Team Toyota, Doug Coletta, Tony Schumacher was a thorn in his side for oh so many years. And what Doug and the rest of the Coletta team is hoping right now with Alan and Brian over there, they can return some of those favors. But I don't think Todd Okahara, Don Schumacher, and certainly not Tony, feels like he needs to be on the receiving end of anything. These two are going to have a rivalry all year long. It starts in round number one at Pomona. Who draws first blood? I don't know what they did to Tony's car last second, but it was the right move. 3.72 beats 3.73. Tony Schumacher wins at 324 miles an hour. Doug goes 3.73 at 327. Tremendous drag race. Tony got away from the starting line first by an eye blink and got the win by three hundredths of a second. 3.726. 324 for the win. 3.730. 327 is not good enough. Unbelievable. Downstairs, Jason. I'm here with Todd Okahara, and welcome back to the champ, Tony Schumacher. He beats his arch nemesis in round one. Well, I don't know about that, but, you know, it's great working with Tony. we got a lot of new guys here, and um, they're doing all great, so uh, we'll see what we can do next round. That is the 92nd time those two drivers have raced head-to-head. -head. For a while, I was wondering if we'd ever see it again. Now, I can't wait to see the next one as we watch it one more time for the Maynard family, for Skag Equipment, for Ashley. Round number one goes to Tony. That's what 300 of a second looks like at 327 miles an hour. More than anyone that everyone's been talking about the return of Tony Schumacher here to Top Fuel, how important was it to get that round win for you to open up? Uh, you know, I just, I feel blessed to have to run Coletta first round. You know, it's 2008, I think, we, we was the last time me and Doug would race in Pomona first round. And, it, you know, I said, it's when you got to put your big boy pants on, step up, first hit of the throttle, you got to be good. And we went on to win 15 races that year with, by the way, Alan Johnson. So uh, for the Maynard family, for Skag, Okuma, you know, what a, this is the beginning, man. And, and you know, what an awesome place to do it. Pomona, I've been out of the car for a full year. And to get back in that car, I got to catch up. I got things I got to learn and redo. But you don't forget how to race, you know. You forget how to be great at it. You gotta work your way into that. But uh, what a run, man. I mean, if the fans didn't get their money's worth on that, <laughs> there's just no price of this. NHRA drag racing right now is the greatest thing ever. Josh Hart and Sean Langdon.